Hello, my name is Lenny Vermoss, and this is a video about finding a game called Find a Place. Uh, but before we learn how to play the game, a little bit of information about me. Uh, my email address is on the, the screen. Uh, my, and please feel free to contact me. Uh, my home website or main website is listed there as a bit.ly Lenny V. Uh, and then you can find this game, a long game board, along with the rules uh, and many other games at the bit.ly Lenny V games. Find a Place is a game for students uh, who are able to find the difference between uh, two three-digit numbers. Um, and with any game, it's about also about place value and also with um, find some probability and, and uh, seeing what happens when you're playing with cards. Uh, all you need to play is a game sheet and 40 cards numbered 0 through 9, 4 of each one, or you can use a deck of cards uh, using a, a 10 for a 0 and an ace for a 1 and then getting rid of the other cards. Uh, this is what a game board looks like, but before we play the game, just uh, a little bit about conversations with students as they're playing the game. Uh, encourage the students to make their thinking visible. Uh, why did you place that number there? What card are you looking for? What do you think is going to happen next? Yeah, if you go to my Bitly website here and download the, the game board for Find a Place, here are the rules at the top as well as a link. Uh, and then I have two game boards. So this first game board, I have more targets. So this one has targets from zero up to a thousand. So depending on uh, the students you have and the length of time you have. And this is a little shorter game board. Um, which goes uh, just as uh, five targets that you're looking at. So basically the rules, you take the cards, you shuffle the deck, you draw a card, and you have to put it in one of these darker places. Um, and then you try to minimize the distance between the number that you have and the target, because we're going to add these all up at the end. Once you place a number, you can't move it. Uh, so I'm just going to start. My first number that I drew is a 6. Um, and so I'm just going to place a 6 here. Uh, the other person would decide where they're going to place their number, but I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the one side. Uh, the second number I have is a 2. Uh, I'm going to put the 2 here because that's pretty close to 0. And I'll talk a little bit about why I put the numbers there. Next number I have is a 3. Uh, that's kind of a, sometimes the students will see that you want to put these numbers maybe someplace where it's not as in, or doesn't matter as much, so I'm going to put my three there. Uh, the next number is an ace, uh, so a one would be a good place to put that number there. My next number is uh, a nine, uh, so I'm going to put uh, my nine here. Uh, my next number is a 4, uh, so I'm going to put my 4 here. Uh, the next number is a 5, uh, so I will put my 5 here. Uh, the next number is another 5, uh, so I'm going to put my uh, 5 here. Hoping I'm going to get a, a little bit bigger number here at the end. Uh, my next number is a 9, so I'm going to put my 9 there. Uh, the next number is a 3, uh, so I'm going to put my 3 here. And then my next number is a 8, uh, so that's pretty high, so I'm going to go with my 8 there. Uh, and then my last number is a 7, so I'm going to put my 7 there. Uh, and this person would have some different numbers for every reason. Now what I do is I find the difference between these. So this difference is going to be 2. This difference is going to be 19. This difference would be 53. This distance, even though it's negative, we're always going to make these positive. So this distance here would be 5, pretty close. And then this distance here would be... Um, 127. 
and then my total score would be the sum of all these. And then your goal is to get this total score as small as you can. So um, I, I think you'll find that students will enjoy playing this, and I hope that you do as well. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.